Welcome to Tech World. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Beneath the turquoise waters of the Philippines, a secret has been hiding for 20 million years. Scientists have now confirmed vast deposits of rare earth elements, REEs, scattered across the archipelago. These minerals are essential for everything from smartphones to advanced defense systems. For decades, the world has relied on China for these critical resources, creating a strategic vulnerability. Now the Philippines finds itself at the center of a global power shift. This discovery could break the world's dependency on a single supplier and transform the Philippines into a key player in the next technological era. The stakes are enormous, touching geopolitics, economics, and the future of clean energy. The US is urgently seeking to diversify its supply chains, and the Philippines is suddenly a potential powerhouse. High-level meetings between American and Filipino officials highlight the urgency and opportunity. But this is more than a story about mining. It's about a nation at a crossroads. Can the Philippines harness this boom for its people, manage environmental risks, and withstand global pressure? Our story begins with a geological detective tale, a lost tectonic plate, painstaking research, and a eureka moment. We'll explore the hard data, the economic value, and the challenges ahead. The world is watching as the Philippines stands on the brink of a new era. The next chapter in global resource competition starts here. To understand this discovery, we must travel back 20 million years. Geologists puzzled over the Western Pacific's complex geology, missing a key piece, a vanished tectonic plate. Led by Susanna van de Lagemat, scientists searched for this ghost, the Pontus Plate. The breakthrough came from ancient rocks in Borneo, revealing a magnetic signature unlike any known plate. This evidence allowed scientists to reconstruct Pontus's journey, a plate once a quarter the size of the Pacific Ocean. Its subduction beneath other plates created the conditions for immense mineral wealth. Remnants of Pontus now lie beneath Borneo, the South China Sea, and crucially, Palawan in the Philippines. The heat and pressure from Pontus's descent concentrated rare and valuable minerals. In 2024, the Pontus Plate's existence was officially confirmed, turning theory into fact. This discovery is more than academic. It's a roadmap for mineral exploration. The ghost of Pontus has returned, promising a 21st century treasure. The Philippines' unique geology is now explained and its mineral riches are no longer a mystery. The world's attention is now fixed on this once hidden legacy. The Pontus plate theory has become a treasure map for the Philippines. Recent studies confirm the country's rare earth deposits rival those of China, Spain, and Turkey. Key sites like Palawan and Samar show RE concentrations high enough for major mining operations. Ion adsorption clays, similar to those in southern China, are especially valuable for high-performance magnets. Scandium, a critical metal for aerospace, is also found in profitable concentrations. This data is now actionable intelligence, driving diplomatic and corporate interest. The Philippines is no longer a theoretical player, it's a confirmed hotspot. The global race for these resources has officially begun. The Philippines' rare earth discovery is shaking up the global chessboard. China has long dominated rare earth mining and processing, holding immense leverage over global supply. The US is now seeking to break this dependency by partnering with nations like the Philippines. In July 2025, US and Philippine officials met to discuss critical minerals cooperation, a clear sign of new strategic alignment. The US offers not just to buy raw materials, but to help build a domestic processing industry in the Philippines. This partnership could elevate the Philippines from a raw exporter to an industrial power. Reports suggest the Philippines may have unknowingly supplied rare earths to China for years, missing out on the real value. Now, with eyes wide open, Manila holds unprecedented leverage. The nation can choose its partners and set its terms. The decisions made now will ripple across the globe, shaping who controls the materials of the future. The Philippines is no longer just a strategic location. 
It's a gatekeeper to the world's next technological revolution. The stakes are high and the world is watching. The nation's choices will determine its legacy. The era of passive resource export is over. To grasp the scale, let's look at the numbers. The global rare earth market is booming, driven by green energy and tech demand. Philippine deposits could be worth hundreds of billions over coming decades. China dominates mining and, crucially, processing, where the real profits are made. With U.S. support, the Philippines could develop its own processing, capturing far more value. Instead of exporting cheap ore, it could sell refined metals for thousands per ton. The strategic value is even greater. Elements like neodymium and dysprosium are essential for EVs and wind turbines. Philippine ion adsorption clays could rival China's, offering supply chain security. Scandium deposits add another lucrative dimension, vital for aerospace and defense. A reliable non-Chinese source would be a game changer for allied industries. The numbers tell a clear story. The Philippines is sitting on a resource of immense value. The world is eager to tap into this new supply. For the Philippines, this is more than an economic opportunity. It's a potential revolution. Foreign investment is pouring in, promising jobs and infrastructure. Developing a domestic processing industry means more value stays in the country. High-skilled jobs could lift thousands into the middle class. A thriving mining sector would spur growth across the economy. Government revenues could fund education, healthcare, and infrastructure. But challenges remain high electricity costs and the need for strong regulations. If managed well, this could be a once-in-a-generation leap toward prosperity. With opportunity comes responsibility. The environmental stakes are immense. Rare earth mining is notoriously dirty risking water, soil, and fragile ecosystems. Palawan, a UNESCO biosphere reserve, faces particular risk. The government must balance economic gains with strict environmental protection, enforcing world-class regulations and using advanced sustainable technologies is essential. Local communities, especially indigenous groups, must be consulted and protected. The risk of a resource curse is real, Corruption and environmental ruin must be avoided. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can set a new standard for responsible mining. What do the experts say? Geologists marvel at the discovery, but warn our understanding is still young. Industry analysts note the Philippines' rare earth potential was long overlooked. But identifying a deposit is just the first step. Building mines and supply chains takes years and billions in investment. U.S. policymakers see this as a long-term play for supply chain resilience, not an overnight fix. Patience and strategic partnership will be key. Filipino officials stress the need for green mining and sustainable development. The goal uplift the nation without sacrificing its natural heritage. The Philippines has a winning hand, but playing it well requires skill and care. The world is watching how this story unfolds. The Pontus Plate discovery gives the Philippines a generational choice. This could be the Philippine century, unprecedented growth and global influence. But the path is fraught with risk, the resource curse, inequality, and environmental loss. The nation must choose between exploitation and sustainable development. Will mineral wealth benefit all or just a few? Will biodiversity be protected? The world is watching as the Philippines decides its legacy. This is a pivotal moment, not just for the nation, but for the world. What happens next will shape the future for generations to come.